sweet melody of this incredible character that has slowly been on the up and up. We've seen Void over Summit, we've seen Mr. R over this tournament, and both of them look incredibly scary. This character was theorized to be brilliant, and we are truly seeing her shine as of late. Yep, truly a character specialist in all sense of the word. Meanwhile, on the other side, you've got something very similar. You've got Mr. Raflo over there. Raflo. As opposed to Mr. R, you have got this fella who's playing Palutena, someone who's straight out of the plastic box you bought from CEX. This character is still strong as it ever was. Yep. But some people are saying Palutena can't hang with the big boys. Some people are saying Palutena just can't keep up in these matchups. They don't have that X factor. She they might be worse than Insin. That she might be worse than Insin. <laughs> some people have said. No comment, but... Not me, not us. Here this Palutena is sitting at top four of an EU major. All right, we're going to see if they can bring down Mr. R and expand that into top three. And honestly, it's players that were, like Reflow that really do impress me because as you said, it's the plastic box. It's the cookie cutter character. It's baby's first chew toy. But it's when you innovate with characters such as Palutena that is really impressive. When you take these options that everyone just thought were normal, were standardized, and they would never see anything different and innovate even four years into Ultimate's lifespan, that is a mark of an impressive player and a character specialist in their own right. Absolutely, absolutely. A little bit of back and forth right here. Obviously, Mr. R gonna have to find some very, very small but plentiful windows to find kills. Meanwhile, Reflo can be a little bit more free flow, if you will. Just has to force Mr. R off stage. Of course, though, the issue you find here is that, well, that's bread, that's uh, that's that's Palutena's specialty, all right? It's catching him with that edge. Yeah. But how do you catch Mr. R? A very nice setup from Reflo, sending Sheik a little bit away from the ledge to the point where she could not immediately slap with her up B and then catching it with that ever lingering down tilt into a very nice back end conversion. Very nicely played from Reflo, who goes up early. And going up early would be a big thing against Sheik if Mr. Mr. R were not answering back immediately. And that's a perfect way to put it. Answering back, serving back the hit. This is a great, great piece of momentum for Mr. R there, able to equalize so, so fluidly. And now we're back to a little bit of fancy tiptoe neutral. Yeah. This is a really interesting match in terms of the neutral because I imagine she would be wanting to get, stay on the ground, stay very low because her dash is so low and so is her crouch and just get up in Palatina's face so that she may not nair him. But Reflo is adapting back with these down airs, down air, down air, down throw and starts cooking something fierce. A great adaptation already in neutral from this player. Clearly that expertise is showing. Yeah, it's good stuff. I want to catch the two frame on the teleport. Ooh. Obviously Palatina's teleport nowhere near as safe as Sheik's. They'll force up into the egg and see if we can find an up air. Luckily, Mr. R with that airspeed, able to avoid, able to outmaneuver, and finally able to just grab a couple of empty hops. Great oh catch! My goodness, this movement from La Flo gets the Tomahawk, gets, a, gets an empty hop grab, and then immediately catches the double jump with the up air. A brilliant play from the French Palu player, who now has got an even more sizable lead. And let's see if we can actually do something with this one. Or is Mr. R just going to answer back again? Right now, he's looking really nice. Looking very, very nice indeed. There's Zanadi as there's the tumble dryer. There's the washing machine. Mr. R having to make their way back out. Great turnaround. Fantastic reversal coming out. 1-1-1 one, one, one on the side of Reflo. Going to see if Mr. R can find a kill as quickly as he did before. Or if Reflo will be allowed to run away with it. Yeah, he's wanted to make that stock one as well, but can't quite find it right now. Sheik does famously struggle to kill. Says all the naysayers from two years ago. And Mr. R is just repeatedly proving them wrong. Definitely, definitely. Gone out, just able to play a little bit slower. Finally able to find an engaging little bouncing fish confirm right there for 25 as the needles are running through as well. Couple of tilts, this could be it if he plays his cards right. Reflo will drift away, not going to get caught in any semblance. He is able to find a platform to retreat to. Yeah. Overall, a very just like high leaning towards the platform's recovery from Reflo, which does avoid really well. But Mr. R is tracking him so well with that down air. What an option. If that hadn't been the landing here, I think that might have been up smashing the stock nut roast. Mr. R is clearly, clearly still confident and pushing his advantage as far as he can go. But Reflo is finding so many good catches in neutral and so many good catches in the rolls. Ain't it just, and it's so, so annoying for Reflo to try and punish this up special on the side of Mr. R. That down tilt just isn't going to find anything as a good little mix up on the recovery using the retreating platform. Oh, almost catches the roll. There's the back throw. Is it going to be enough? I wouldn't think so. Not quite. And again, Raflo can't quite punish that. This is a side view we've been seeing a lot from Mr. R. Really, it's really good for relieving pressure on ledger teams. It's been basically giving him free neutral get-ups to get off the stage. And now he's able to get back into the game slightly. An explosive flame comes out, but it's just to pressure him. And the second Ooh. one does catch him, though. I believe the up B sent him a little higher, and that caught him into the explosive flame. Very nicely recognized from Haflo. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff there. 
And it's a good job for Ruffalo, you know, this was ve this was a very difficult matchup and one that requires a lot of precision. Honestly, I think something very interesting in this matchup is how Ruffalo deals with needles. Yeah. Because the thing with Palutena normally is Palutena has obviously very good neutral projectiles, but there's a caveat to that in the fact that her projectiles cover a lot of space and they can cover a lot of ground, sort of like vertically. Um, but the issue is she grounds herself when she does that. They yeah. are very laggy. They are very laggy. Normally, you can't break through the wall anyway, so it doesn't matter. But the thing is, those needles are able to snipe her out, and Sheik's engage range is so good, their speed is so good, that frankly, it just isn't possible. And apparently, looks like Mr. R starting this game with a deficit. What, did he unplug his pro controller or something? What is this? I just think that reflow is a little bit different. Two amazing back air catches on Mr. R's jumps, on his air dodge, on his downbeat, and he just finds those catches. And I think that's been the difference maker so far, Nutrose. It's that Reflow has just gotten a little bit ahead in terms of recognizing disadvantage habits. He gets another jump, he gets a bit more pressure, he's getting a lot of percent, and he's not doing it because of true confirms, he's doing it because he's in his opponent's head! Absolutely, that is very, very true. As Mr. R got slowed down a lot, but still he's just suffering an absolutely flame horizon. You look down in the camera, you can see Mr. R shaking his head, not very happy at all. It's not always something new. We have seen Mr. R come back from ludicrous deficits before. You can get the download. Great call out there to get the up smash. Yep. And now, 106. Just don't get hit. Well, he's already gotten hit, so we we'll waste that. But maybe it's just we just aim for don't get killed. Don't get killed. That's a better one. Oh, okay. he failed well, that too. too well. Okay, so let's aim for Yikes. don't get killed twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that's a pretty fair that. goal. Let's try that. All right. As Oh, good little string right there. 25. That is kind of the standard you're looking for. That is the gold standard you're looking for on Sheik, which, uh, you know, in a game filled with people with 70 strings, can be a little humble, but that's okay, because you make up for it in other areas. It's and those other areas that are trying to push. Exactly. Sheik is commonly considered one of the best neutral games in the entire game. And as a result, she may not get that much off of every advantage state, but when she's constantly in advantage state, that's fine. Exactly. She's, she's hardly worried. You're damn right. Exactly. Anyway, a little bit of uh, crouch nonsense coming in. <laughs> I do like the down tilts coming out from Ruffalo, trying to sort of catch Mr. R's down tilts with the low profile. Ooh. As explosive flame, good stuff. A little wall being built there. You're not catching that with a down tilt anytime soon, I do believe, but hey, worth a try. What a great spot dodge from Ruffalo, recognizing that Mr. R is going to be plus on shield there, incredibly safe, and might get another down tilt. No, not quite getting the setup from the first game, but still a lot of pressure applied to the Dutch player, and as a result, Mr. R is somewhat scrambling right now. He needs to find this kill and then needs to find another 100% to get another kill. There is a lot of work to be done here in a roast. Absolutely. It might be time to just go to the next game because Ruflo is looking untouchable as he's re-grabbing ledge oh. and going to be taking that down smash to the head. Wonderfully recognized from Ruflo there. It looks like Mr. R has got a mountain to climb, all right? He's going to find three games on the trot. Not going to be easy. Not going to be easy, but... If there was anyone who could do it, it could be Mr. R right here. Someone who has an insanely veteran history. Yeah, he's done this a hundred times before. He could do it another hundred if he can go the distance here and now. It will be incredibly interesting to see what kind of adaptation Mr. R makes. What do you think he's lacking at the moment? I think so far, he's just not getting the bigger hits that Reflow is. Reflow is finding the greater reads are leading to more damage and earlier kills. Yeah, it is interesting because, frankly, Reflow is not particularly finding these crazy kills or these crazy reads at edge, which is normally when Palutena is going to find those biggest advantages. Right. Meanwhile, it's Mr. R who's just being beaten in neutral. It's things like the it's, the, it's things like Mr. R not getting away with the hurt box shifting that he's normally used to, or his double jumps are being called out, or his nair's getting beaten out. That back hair as well is just notoriously awful to deal with because that buckler on her arm can become invulnerable and so hard to deal with from someone as stubby as Sheik. You mentioned her box shifting, and we finally saw it from Mr. R there as he manages to crouch the down air, and he manages to find another down air of his own, sending Ruffalo down to the bottom. Blast on really nice to convert, really good advantage state, and that is what I meant, Not Roast, when I said he needs to find the bigger hits that Ruffalo is finding. That is one of those. Taking the stock at 70 is chic. That's why you like to see. That's what you like to see. And now the ball is in Mr. R's court. All right, going to see if we can find anything there. Great nair catching out that. Ooh, lousy a teleport. All right, we're going to go for a back air. Oldest trick in the book, all right. But Reflo can obviously choose to mix that up if he wishes. Finally get a perfect parry. Great movement, my yeah. goodness. 
just standing there awaiting Oraflo to whiff. And now it looks like Mr. R is in the driver's seat. And I believe this is the Mr. R that everyone is starting to recognize all of a sudden. This offense, this pressure, it's constant. You can't get rid of him. You can't get him off. He's like a bug you can't swash. And he is indeed floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee at the moment. Maybe a mosquito, considering how much damage he's put it onto a flow. This is not just an inconvenience, this is assault. Absolutely, that's exactly what I would call it. Looks like our flow is just trying to get Mr. R out of his face as Ooh barely avoids the up air, but caught, trapped, snapped into that aerial off, killing it, but still 120, that's not pretty. Yeah, as Sheik, this is a percent you love to see as well. This is where a lot of the confirms start working on the character. With the weight such as Palu and the height such as Palu, she is going to be getting into a lot of these confirms. It's up to her flow to try and do as much damage as possible before he gets hit by them. And he is doing it well. 39% right now. Mr. Star still stuck in disadvantage. Down airing into the explosive flame. And Reflo has him off stage. This could be dangerous. It could be very, very dangerous. Reflo just trying to find a way in. Catches the last hit of that nair, but not able to get a specific Ooh. punish. Mr. R not quite expecting that high up. Be allowing Reflo back onto the stage. Black into neutral. Reflo right now is maneuvering incredibly well around his opponent's win conditions and is doing an excellent job of tying this up. Oh, Gets very, very there. aggressive. Covering nice and high, Reflo trying to find that down tilt they've never hit yet, but all it takes is one as a great call out from Mr. R. Staying nice and low to the ground, a little bit of break dancing right there as the washing machine yeah. has come out. Mr. R grabs the ledge and is now trying to just get into his opponent's face and start up the but he's minus on hit. Oh, there was so little hit lag on that. <laughs> yeah, he got the south part of dash check. An incredibly rare hitbox to get hit by. That's not so rare, though. Palutina's up at an incredibly annoying move to, for anyone to deal with, including Mr. R. It would seem as he just gets poked out by it on the platform and rolls back into the explosive flame. Gets Ned. Gets Ned again. There's an up air, 53. And Nut Roast, after such a phenomenal start, Reflo has managed to take the lead in this game. He is still has so much fight left in him. That is crazy. Reflo taking another down air. That is how we started, but is it going to be how we end it? As he's forced into the air, 73. Ramin can find something nice and mean that he can make it happen, but unfortunately a parry is going to cause a reversal. Ramin still holding on though, Mr. R trying to find a way back in. Can we get a drop instead? Raised from below. There's a shark in the water and her name is Palatina. There's an A. Yeah, right now Reflo is just looking so, so hard to track and yet he smells the blood and is swimming the most direct course to victory at the moment. He gets a down tilt, but he can't find anything off of him. But Palatina has so many ways to kill in this specific position. Reflo is looking so nice at the moment, especially with the way he's recovering right now. It seems like Mr. R can't find any sort of edge guard, any sort of big hit, because Reflo is just too evasive. Yeah, certainly is just throwing things in this grounded option. Reflo is just conditioning Mr. R to jump, and he's just waiting for him to leap into either a back air or a neutral air. Mr. R staying grounded, though. So trying to get a down tilt, not quite going to come through. Mr. R trying to keep the pressure on, trying to find some needles just to keep Ooh. a little bit of stun. It was almost there. The bomb to force him high. Instead, it's into the awaiting boot of Sheik. Reads the teleport angle, reads the side B. Can he read the next option? Potentially find the kill. Doesn't get the nair that would have led to bouncing fish. Pressuring out with the needles. Right now, Reflo's his there it back is. Air, But he gets the bouncing fish, and Mr. R explodes in his chair. Clearly fiending after that win. That was a lot of losses in a row to a flow, and that must feel good to finally get your name on the board. It's got to feel great, but my goodness, it comes at a cost. Your name's up there, but there's just that meaningful one compared to the two. You've got to win two more, Ramin. Have you found the download, or is Raflo simply going to readapt now that we're taking it over to Small Battlefield? It's a more? nice stage for Palatina as well in that roast. You get a lot of very nice extensions with your, with your up air, with your nair. You get some really nice teleport cancels. There's a lot of maneuverability. There's a lot of pressure she can apply. Overall, excellent pick from her flow. I do believe Sheik also has a nice time with maneuvering on the stage, obviously with her speed, with her aerial speed, with her fast falling, but it is still Reflo's advantage. Both has to be mentally and physically right now. So there is a lot of work to be done from the Sheik player. Now you got to remember that last game came with a caveat, all right? Mr. R obviously doing a fantastic job to establish a lead, but that lead was established with a very powerful, very rare option in getting that down air spike at ledge. So they held the lead and yet Reflo was still able to bring it to last hit. So can Mr. R push it without anything that early? Yeah. Or has he got more tricks in the back pocket? I believe he does, to be honest, Nutrose. I've seen twerk clips from this guy. I know that he has so much stuff in the back pocket. So the question is, can he be 
Can he hit a player as cognizant as for flow with it? Because honestly, he's been recognizing so many situations so well, and he recognizes where to extend his advantage as well as he gets a dash attack, looking for another up air, looking for a back air, pressuring Mr. R above the stage so well right now, instantly evens out the percent and gets him on the ledge, which is so dangerous when you're flying against Palutena. A fantastic option that side B is, especially to force Palutena off of her kind of favorite spot. Still, it's not super rare and can be punished if our flow still starts to download. It could always chase Mr. R off stage as well, in which case there wouldn't be much respite for the young ninja. Lots of pressure coming out from a flow right now. He's constantly keeping you guessing on whether he's going to pull the trigger on that up air, or it's another nair, or it's another back air. It's really hard to track at the moment, and every single time Mr. R manages to plant his feet on terra firma, not roast, he always gets hit out of it. The side B explodes early and does allow him some reprieve, but he doesn't find the up air from the down tilt. Ooh. Gets a lovely down smash pickup, though. That was simply pixels away from being punished, but nevertheless, Mr. R able to outspace, catch it, swing him right out. And now we've got a lead, but how far can we push it? You've got to land first there, brother. It's not that easy. Right floor, meanwhile, trying to find a way down, just trying to find a nair. It's Oof. not coming out. Oof. And instead, he's Oof. just hitting, rolls in, keeps it going. What a conversion into the up air as finally our floor is looking to finish it. There it goes. The lovely back air. Very nice timing on your part. <laughs> oh, wait, well, you know. As we do keep moving on there. Well, it looks like Zanali. We're going to go for a whiff grab, and now Raflo has got it. Lots of damage coming out from the French pair. Malveilleux String as he puts on 60% on to Mr. R, who's stuck at the ledge now. Immediate dash attack comes out. Invincible's his way through everything. Palatina, so much privilege on this character. <laughs> Ooh, a drag down. They call her the goddess of light for a reason. Damn right, as we're going to see if Mr. R can make it a little bit dark, as speaking of darkness, looks like our TV suffering a little bit, but that's okay, that's not your problem. Meanwhile, the biggest problem Ramin is currently facing is he has to make it back to the stage. A perfect roll is able to make it back, but meanwhile, Flo beating him off. Yeah. Is he beat him off? <laughs> Excuse me? Pause. But, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> never mind. Making it back on. A couple of these lasers oh, coming out. What an earthy angle to recover right now. I think Ramin's pausing right now as he manages to get some reprieve from this edge guarding Whoa. scenario coming out but instantly your flows answers on a very aggressive up smash with a dash tag might have been a miss input might not have been either way it does seal the end of his stock gets the job done i mean has to have a big comeback right here 96 could find something all right not charging the needles just yet they are in waiting just gonna let him fly just gonna try and find something Obviously, there are a few windows available for Mr. R, just waiting for a whiff, waiting for something. Catches them on the platform twice. They got the needles. Oh, oh. checkmate! Raflo avoided just about everything until he could avoid no longer. Getting too wary, he gets caught out by that downbeat. And Mr. R now is in a pretty nice position. If he can get those first few neutral wins, he can rack on a lot of percent like this, Nut Roast. This is fantastic stuff. These kills are coming from Mr. R, forcing Raflo to just choose his death. Like back there, you either take the needles or you take the bouncing fish. Obviously, in hindsight, you take the needles. But how is Raflo able to know that? Because obviously... Mr. R's keeping these cards close to his chest. The thing is, if you take the needles, you also typically take the bounce of fish. But right now, our flow's taking nothing from Mr. R, as he looks unstoppable in neutral at the moment. Mr. R is not being able to find a single neutral win. But flow's just too safe. He's too quick. He's too untouchable at the moment. And as a result, Mr. R is only finding nickel and dime. 32% wrapped on over the course of a minute. 47 finally he's getting a few more hits in. And he has to apply a lot of pressure at the sledge. Otherwise, Raflo might run away with it. Beautiful catch on the teleport angle. Oh, oh, just able to fall down. No tech means that she can act immediately. That was great. Not sure if it was on purpose, but I can only assume it was. As Raflo trying to find the edge guard here. Not quite going to get the bear as Mr. R takes center stage once more. That buckler is just beating back Mr. R. Just trying to find a way back in. Those bombs buying a little bit of space. Such a key tool in this matchup. Yeah. As we're on 90, this is where Raflo has found death before. Yeah. But simply one back air, one dash attack could set up victory. Yeah, right now, Raflo's coming out with so much nair and back air. You have to be so scared of either one of catching him, but you have to be scared of that nair down B as well. Mr. R setting up for an edge guard situation. Puts the back out. ledge, and he doesn't roll in time! Great stuff through Everything over toward Raflo there through the needles, through the bombs, was awaiting, threatening so many options just by being present. Fantastic stuff. Mr. R playing 5D chess right now. I'm not sure if Raflo dropped off the ledge or just wasn't expecting to lose his invinci invincibility so quick, but that will spell doom for him. And Mr. R manages to clutch out yet another game, Nut Roast. Jesus Christ, how do you maintain your composure in this position? I mean, the mental sack of Palatina. Like, 
You're like, this character is just approaching me with an invincible back hair. What do I do as a character that must scrap? Mr. R seemingly finds all the answers and gets an amazing confirm into Edgeguard sequence as we're going to town and city. A very interesting stage if you see the fist bump for game five. Yeah, I love a, that, by the way. That's I love nice. it. You're ready to go. All right, both these players ready for what could be a phenomenal, insane run back, an insane comeback from Mr. R. But it's a wrap with advantage. We make our way in. Now that was an option. What's he thinking? As we are making our way in. As we're able to get the grab back down. Four stop into the air. Zero percent on Mr. R right now. Unfortunate stock for a flow, but he doesn't get too much down for it. Only 47 percent. As he can answer back. We've seen Raflo get that in just one advantage state, so he shouldn't be too worried. Just a little bit of an amusing start between the two players. Not really what you want, but you'll run with it. I'm sure Raflo has the mental power to get through this as he finds an amazing down air, but gets punished for it immediately. What? Yeah, a response insane, from Mr. R. That's good stuff. The triple mare coming out. Obviously, that is the recompense you were talking about. Very easy to find that. Well, maybe I wouldn't say easy against Very someone easy. like Mr. <laughs> well, maybe I would say easy <laughs> as we do make it back. Obviously, that down tilt must be so frustrating for our flow. That up special is just so safe, so consistent, so strong. Yeah, right now, Mr. R is playing a very nice, safe, grounded neutral and really waiting for a float to come in so that he might get these little hits, so that he might get these needles, so that he might get these nares, and is putting on a light of nice percent onto a flow who is sitting pretty close to kill percent now. This is some nice work from Mr. R who's chipping away at his opponent. But Raflo has answered back big style, 85% onto a Sheik, and that is certainly death percent oh, for a Barbie character Perry. so light. Could definitely be as a little bit of a clash right there. Able to avoid the dash attack into a jab. 120 sitting on our floor right now as we do have advantage on the side of Ramin. Ooh. Good stuff. Mr. R taking the first kill with a bouncing fish. He hits that kill confirming every timeline, dude. I don't think I've seen him drop it once today and he's become stream many a time. Certainly has, certainly has. Rafa getting a little bit too overconfident with that invincibility right there as eating a little bit of damage. Great spacing coming out from Mr. R as well. Let me tell you, Palutena is not an easy character to space against, especially with that invincible dash attack. Hey, there it is! <laughs> As Mr. R trying to find a safe back way to the ground. 114 is going to find a death very, very soon. We've got to see what kind of shenanigans he can pull out. Great fade. Trying to fake to go around to the platform instead, directly transitions it into a falling net. I think I think the main difference I'm seeing right now, Russell, is, is that it seems Mr. R is so much more comfortable with Rafo's timings in neutral. He's catching out a lot of these jumps before the aerial comes out, before he has to respond out of shield. And it's leading to so many dividends. Rafflo's not gonna get anything off this down tilt, but he get anything off the second. went one? for no. a down tilt there, but it worked so little times before. He just didn't expect it to actually hit and he just didn't go for anything. I don't blame it. It's <laughs> been a crazy set, a crazy roller coaster ride, if you will. And uh, you could sometimes stuff just slips out of your mind. And in the end, Mr. R is just applying so much damage right now that it's probably not your first thing on your mind that your down tilt might actually function for once. Yeah, Mr. R looking so, so confident right there. The dash attack is going wide. Mr. R could potentially find the reverse 3-0 if Raflo doesn't dig in his goddess heels and fight his ground. As we're trying to find a back air, good stuff from Mr. R just to be aware. Fake runoff right there, a bomb to cover the approach. His patience is insane right now, not roasting the fair's not even gonna do it anymore. Right now, Mr. R is just at every single moment waiting for a flow to swing first. He has a lead, he has a neutral advantage, he just waits for the swing first, and even the back air throws with an air and puts him at a kill percent. This is a phenomenal position for Mr. R. We did see a flow make it back earlier, but when you're being brought to it this hard, when one player seems so dominant, all of a sudden things get a lot harder to pull off. Very hard indeed. As oh, almost tries to go for a ledge trap, I want to say. Just a little I bit too so, eager yeah. right there. Down tilt, not going to connect. He's going to be beaten out with the bounce That's fish. Um... He's going to send him straight off into the side. And now, Raflo, if there's a time to collect, if there's a time for the French to rally behind you, it is now. Two stocks down. Sheik is doable, but is Mr. R. As makes our way back to the stage, the needles are flying. Good patience to make it back as we're just forced out once again. 59 on the side of the goddess. And what do you reckon tonight is there any semblance of hope? I believe there's hope. I'm always going to believe there's a hope for a player as skilled as Raflo. But it kind of seems like all of the confidence that Raflo had has transferred over to Mr. R in time until that back air almost found it, that down almost found its mark. But right now, Mr. R just seems so comfortable to go for the most inane stuff in advantage state. And it's all just working. It's all just paying off, Nut Rose. As he gets 99% with only 61 in the second stock, he has such a huge lead. He's starting to do these little cancels up there. Ooh. The up air comes out. He doesn't cross the up. 
DI quite. And right now, Mr. R seems so poised to be able to take the set. Finally able to make it back. Camera flow, find the edge guard of Dreams right there. There's the down tilt, but you still don't know how to react to it. It's just so rare. As they do get the damage, they do force him out. Up air, not going to connect either. Come and get a grab. Oh, but he phases through. I can't believe he crossed up with that jab. Not roasting right now. Mr. R has so much going in his favor. He gets a free teleport to ledge. But finally, Rafflo finds a back air, and it's not impossible. It's not improbable, even. It can happen. You will see it happen, perhaps, from these nares, from the back air. 45% racked on, a lot of rage. This could happen to Rose. There's the Nair, it's 55. That's an angry Palutena. There's the forward air. One more guard will do it. The down air! And there's the spike. <laughs> As the French explode into cheers. Mr. R, so, so close, yet so far. A flow with a fantastic clutch to secure him a top three spot. That might have been the best advantage state of Raflo's entire career. He got the percent, he caught the bouncing fish. Ramen only had one option, up B to ledge. He knew that the, the teleport was quite far from ledge. He knew that there was that gap and he punishes with the most devastating option possible. Nuts.